you've probably heard me talk about stale email lists and email list decay recently. And by those terms, I mean that over time you will have a segment of subscribers that will go inactive or lapse. And what that means is that they stop opening your emails, right? For one reason or another, but they don't mark you as spam and they don't unsubscribe. So they're just kind of sitting on your email list in this sort of limbo place where they get emails, but they don't engage with them. They don't open them. There are lots of things we can do to decrease email list decay in terms of using segmentation, personalization to send more relevant emails. We can use behavioral based email automations to send emails when they're most relevant. And we can also, on the copywriting side, we can write more compelling subject lines and more compelling body copy inside our emails to make our emails more interesting so the people who are right for those emails will open and act on them. But we can't entirely prevent email list decay. And that's due to the simple fact that leads and ideal buyers they don't exist in a static state. So once someone becomes a lead, they're not always a lead because things change. Our lives and our businesses are in constant flux. So for example, someone who follows me because they own a business and they wanna learn more about email marketing, if at some point, six months down the line, they either close their business or they sell their business or they retire, or maybe they go in house and their job has nothing to do with email marketing, then I'm probably not relevant to them anymore, right? Because they don't need to know anything about email marketing. So that's a scenario in which like there's a natural subscriber decay that I can do nothing about. So your goal is not necessarily to prevent email list decay. Of course, you wanna pull all the levers you can to create more interesting, engaging, relevant emails. But on the list decay side, knowing that some degree of list decay is going to happen, what we wanna do is manage it. And so by that, I mean, we wanna make sure that we are automatically identifying subscribers who we would consider decayed or stale, um, that they've gone inactive for a certain amount of time. And then from there, we can send them a series of automated emails with the goal of getting them to engage in some form or fashion or unsubscribe themselves, or at the end of that, series of emails, we can then decide that we will unsubscribe them, like a courtesy unsubscribe, because we don't want to continue to send emails to people who don't open them. Because over time, and the larger that segment is, the more it hurts our sender reputation, which tells Google that our emails deserve to be in spam, even though they're not spam. And so that's called a re-engagement strategy, and you can do this automated. You can do it manually, but why do it manually if you can automate it? And that's the best way I know to stay on top of your email list decay, at least the part that you can't really do anything about. If you're interested, I have a new email workshop that will teach you this simple email automation so that you too can prevent email list decay from becoming a bigger issue. And so you can give your emails, especially your sales emails, the best chance of landing in the inbox. If you like all the details, make sure you click the link either on or below this video.